This is Zoe with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. And I know our page has been a little bit quiet. We've been working very, very hard behind the scenes. Our entire team has been working with some of our newest rescues. And uh, the, you know, there's the nine that we took from the hoarding house. There's a couple that did not get a lot of air time. Um, and I'm gonna update you on those. And I uh, just figured I'd update you on how some of our dogs are doing that people are asking about. So thank you for the clear. It sounds clear in PA, that's awesome. So I want to just update you on some of our dogs. The first one that you see right in front of you, this is Cindy Lou. Cindy Lou was, um, she was on the street. She, someone called and uh, she called someone, she called a mutual friend of Amy's and said, there's a dog on my front porch and we don't do dogs. So Amy says, well, can you bring the dog inside until we can get there? <clears throat> she says, I don't do dogs. So dogs don't come into my house. With that being said, we hopped in our car, went down to pick her up. I had actually spoken to the woman and I said, can you at least stay on your front porch until we can get there to pick up this little dog? Now, mind you, it has been torrentially downpouring for several days here. The weather has been miserable is an understatement. So I walked, uh, I drove over there and got out of my car and she says, there's the dog. And she points to a chair and sorry, there's a little chaos. Everybody was sleeping so nicely, which I figured I'd start this video. Um, she points to a chair and there's this little itty bitty, it looked like a stuffed animal on the chair. And it was this little dog. And this is Cindy Lou. This is who was on the chair. This video probably makes her look really big. But all I can tell you is I don't think she's more than six or seven pounds. Okay, you move out of the way. Come on, it's gonna be your turn in a few minutes. Here, cause she's in foster with a whole bunch of others here. So, and somebody wants to be the star of the camera and it's not her turn yet. So little Cindy Lou um, was, when I tell you, matted to the skin, covered in fleas, infested with fleas. She went to the vet, we took her to the vet. She has, come here Cindy Lou, time to wake up mama. She has a skin infection, a really bad skin infection. She has a double ear infection. We thought she was like three or four years old and as it turns out, she's only eight to 10 months old. She's just a baby. She is the most, when I tell you, she is in my house and has been such a joy to have in my house. She is so much fun. She is dog friendly. She loves the other dogs. We're working on potty training. She's about 80% there. It is not easy to potty train when it is torrentially downpouring outside because even the most potty trained dogs don't want to go outside when it's wet. So, but she's doing a great job. She is, um, you can see her skin, some patches of her skin. Her skin looks so much better just in a couple of days. She had a, she had a medicated bath yesterday and that helped a lot. So she's on medication for her ears. She's on medication for her skin infection. She's very calm right now. She has been playing with the pack all day. She's really good. When, I, when I'm working, they all pick their beds and they all lie down. And when it's time to get up and go outside, she knows the routine. She just joins the pack. So she is available for adoption. She absolutely needs another little dog in the home to play with. Um, she is not a dog that should be an only dog. So we will be taking applications for little Cindy Lou. What are you doing? Look at the face. Can we see your face, please? Now you're sleeping. You've been up all day playing. Look at her. But you can see in her eyes, even her eyes with the junk that's in her eyes. And... But she is, when I tell you a baby doll, she is perfection. Like I said, she's about six or seven pounds max. 
and she cannot she will be spayed but she can't be spayed yet until um the skin infection is under control because we don't that's like an immune issue and we don't want her to have any issues with anesthesia so this is our little cindy lou that was rescued from living out in the rain living outside and she has definitely lived her whole life outside from the condition that she's in and uh to find out she's only eight to ten months old this poor little baby was was on the streets all on her own so that is our cindy lou then over here i have this little girl come here this is chloe hi chloe chloe uh was abandoned on a balcony the people moved out and she was abandoned on a balcony in a crate she is <laughs> she's the one that just wants to be part of the camera here um she looks like a min pin mix she's sweet as can be but when i tell you we have been so busy behind the scenes not everybody has had their airtime, and um she's a puppy also she's probably a year to two years old um totally dog friendly she is not available she is going to be adopted but again when you don't see that we're on the gizmo stop when you don't see that we're on the page it doesn't mean that nothing's happening it's just things are happening behind the scenes so she was also like i said she was abandoned on a balcony the people moved out someone reached out and um she is now safe with 100 plus abandoned dogs of everglades florida and if you look at her feet actually this is what's heartbreaking for me hold on sit still if you look at her feet you can see on this chloe come here come here chloe i'm gonna show you if i can catch her chloe come up here come on come on up come on you can see that she well when i catch her you'll see on the tops of her feet both feet in the exact same spot hi and it's from her trying to get out of the crate. So I will show you those when I can get her to sit still for a second. As you can see, she's a little jumping bean. Um, so she is not available. She is, a, there she is, there's the face. This is little, back to um, Cindy Lou. Cindy Lou is available for adoption. We are gonna be taking applications on her. Like I said, she does need another little dog in the house to play with. This is the update on Storm. Storm was also outside. Um, someone called and said there was a stray dog. She had three dogs that were in heat. And, hi baby. And Storm had gone over to her house because he is not neutered. And she was able to trap him in her garage and one of our team members was on their way over and she went to open the garage and Storm got out. A couple days later, she called back and said, I have him again. So Amy said, do not open the garage until we have people there. So we went there and picked up Storm. He was fearful, he was very scared, but he is not aggressive. He's so, so, so sweet. He is also being adopted. Uh, we are hoping on over the weekend, we're going to be, we, he had an amazing meet with a perfect family, a wonderful couple, a wonderful loving couple, and he will be hopefully going home. We're planning on him going home this weekend. Uh, he was supposed to go last week. Uh, last week, he was supposed to be neutered, but he ran a fever. Uh, he spiked a fever out of nowhere. We didn't know what it was. So he ended up going to Blue Pearl and they ran some blood work. We're still waiting for those blood results to come back. And um, Storm, the fever broke and he's been on doxycycline. So we're not quite sure what it was, but he is getting neutered on Friday and he will be going to his forever home. We will be delivering him and doing a video from his forever home with his wonderful mommy and daddy. So that's the update on Storm. Hi, good boy. You're, he is such a good boy. Um, the, the nine pack, the nine dogs that we took in from the hoarding house that were covered in feces and urine and it was a mentally ill person who uh, was violent and 
these poor dogs, those, the, this is not one of them, this is Storm, but just to let everybody know, um, our team has been working around the clock with these dogs, trying to get them socialized, and everybody's making progress, baby steps, it's one day at a time. Uh, teaching them that not all people will hurt them and that they're going to be okay. So they are going to be available for adoption after they are rehabilitated. Um, so that will be happening as well. But I wanted to give everybody an update. People were asking about, you know, some of our dogs that you don't see all the time um, on videos. So these three are in foster with me, uh, with my two dogs, and they're doing awesome. So if you are interested, she's sleeping again, but you can see even now, even her ears are just full of, this is after she was bathed. We tried to get all the pricklies out of her fur. This again is little Cindy Lou. She was out in the rain, matted and soaking, soaking wet. So that is, the, and she is safe and she is going to be looking for a forever loving home. She will be spayed, just not yet. So um, someone just asked about, um, someone, I'm just reading through the comments here. Someone asked about, oh, Princess. Um, someone's asking about Princess. So Princess is in foster. She is not with me because I have, uh, she actually went to my mother-in-law so, so that I could take in one of these babies. So. Uh, Princess is in foster. She's doing great. She is also available for adoption. Princess is our little Bichon poodle mix. She's 10 years old. Um, she has a mass on her shoulder that we were very worried about until we went to Dr. Babevsky. And Dr. Babevsky, who is our surgeon, um, she had really good news that she is going to remove the mass, but she thinks she can get clear margins and is not concerned. Uh, about the outcome. So we're praying that that is going to continue to be good news. Um, that is the story on Princess. So Princess is available for adoption. Again, she is our Bichon uh, Poodle Mix and she is 10 years old and she is a doll baby. She is perfection and she is so much fun and she's such a good girl. She walks on a leash. She just wants a person. She just wants a person to be with her at all times. Um, Cindy Lou's personality, Suzanne, she is dog friendly. She's very playful. Um, she's really, you know, if someone annoys her, she puts them in their place, but she's not aggressive at all. She's wonderful. She's a great little dog. And I was, of course, now she's napping. So does anyone want a treat? <gasps> Who wants chickens? Who wants chickens? Let me see if I can get her up. Who wants chicken? Yeah? Who wants chicken? Come on. Come on. Who wants chicken? Oh, okay. Everybody but Cindy Lou. Hold on. I'm trying to get her here. Hold on. If that didn't wake her up, nothing will. Look, Cindy Lou. What are you doing? She's tired. She's been See, I've been playing all day. You want a piece of chicken? You want chicken meatball? She loves her food. Like I said, she's six or seven pounds. Her skin, in fact, she is going to have the most beautiful skin when she's done, when she's done with all of her medication and her medicated baths. It'll take a couple months, but she is a total diamond in the rough. And her personality is absolute perfection. Uh, Cindy Lou will get groomed right now. There's really not much to groom. We just have to get the finish getting the pickles out of her ears. The rest of her, you know, she has some patches of skin that's missing, uh, but her fur is super, super soft. So she's, she's going to be great. Um, hi, buddy. You're going home this weekend. You want a meatball? No, not so much. Here, you can have that. There you go. Oh, you want one too? You want one too? So that is our update. There she is. So Cindy Lou's available and uh, Red is available. Yes, someone just asked about Red. Red, we cannot believe that Red 
still does not have his forever loving home. He is dog friendly. He definitely does better with women. He is scared of men. So hopefully, um, you know, in time, he will make progress with that. But he is dog. He loves to play with other dogs and he is still looking for a forever home. Same with Senna. Senna is the same way. Oh, there she is. Okay, Cindy Lou, come here. Zena, move. That's Cindy Lou. Look how tiny she is. She's just a little peanut. Hi, Cindy Lou. Say hi. You want that? Oh, you're going to take it? Okay. We got to give one to the babies. You can see how tiny she is just in this video. She's just a little itty bitty. So uh, the Shih Tzus, the Shih Tzus are doing great. They are in foster. Uh, there's the two-year-old and the eight-week-old. Um, here, baby. Okay, there she is. Let her have it. Let her have it. And they are also going to be um, available for adoption. So uh, who else do we have? We have Albert, who, of course, we've had for five or six years already. And he's looking for his forever home. And um, let's see. I'm trying to think. We have Dalton. And then we have Romeo and Bobby at house two. And we have Wolfie, who we're working with, trying to figure out the best way to get through his fear because he really can be such a wonderful dog if we can get him past the meet and greet. Um, but he's fearful for that. But uh, Rodney is also available. So we do have a lot of dogs right now that are looking for their forever loving homes. And this is an update on some of our babies. I, we wanted everybody to understand that everything is great behind the scenes. A lot of people worry when Amy doesn't do a video and they're like, is she okay? Amy is doing great. She's just being pulled in all different directions um, and doing so many different things. As you can imagine, she's answering the phone, she's answering emails, she's answering texts. She's constantly getting messages. And this is just, excuse me, get down. You could see a day in my life here. And um, yes, yeah, Sam and Susie, Melissa, you're right. Sam and Susie um, are looking for their forever home as well. I'm sorry, I miss them. And I love those two. They are two of the favorites at the rescue. Everybody, all of our volunteers love them. They're such wonderful, wonderful dogs. So please share this video. Um, I hope everybody got a good update. And I'm just looking for some of these... Um, the Doberman is mine. She was not, yeah, I've had her for five years. So um, let's see. I'm just reading some comments to see if there's any. Oh, leave them alone. Come here. Come here. But now you can see. So Cindy Lou is still looking for her forever home. She's a tiny little girl. You can fill out an application at 100plusabandoneddogs.org. It is on our website. Okay, enough. Come here. I give you treats. You can see how I have to keep her quiet. But everybody, I hope you have a great Wednesday night. These are all of our babies. This is the update on Storm and Chloe. Chloe, look at me, Chloe. There's the ears. And well, this is my gizmo and my Xena. And then cute little, oh, she went and curled up again uh, for little Cindy Lou. And when I was talking about the tops of her feet, if you look over here, Look at the top of her feet. So this is because she was in a cage. This is Chloe. Chloe was in a cage trying to get out of the cage when she was abandoned on a balcony. And if you look at the tops of her feet, you can see the scars in the exact same place on both feet. And that's a part of their story. And it's very sad when we think about that. So uh, what she has been through. Everybody have a wonderful Wednesday night. I hope this uh, answers some of your questions about some of our adoptable dogs. And this is Zoe with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida, with an update on some of our babies. Have a great night, everybody. And let me see if I can get little Cindy Lou. Cindy Lou who? There you are. There she is. That's our girl. Eight to 10 months old, found abandoned on the streets, matted, covered in fleas, and soaking wet from all of the rain. She is safe. Have a great night, everybody.